Hello and welcome to the Classroom Professor Math Podcast. This program is designed to help you to prepare and teach mathematics more easily, efficiently and effectively, to truly engage your students in mathematical thinking and to develop their numeracy. Welcome back everyone. This is part two of the podcast on number fact strategies for multiplication. So last time we looked at the first five strategies and today we're looking at the next five. Uh, as I said last time, these are in order of difficulty. So we've done the easier half. And if you haven't watched that one or listened to the previous podcast, I encourage you to um, view that one first um, and then we'll, you'll be ready for the next one. So we're ready for the nine times. Nine times number facts are based on the fact that they're close to 10. So we, the name for this strategy is think of 10 less 1. So the fact that 9 is close to 10 actually makes it easy. I do remember as a child finding the 9s difficult to do and the numbers were big and that sort of thing. But if someone had just pointed out it's close to 10 and you can use that fact, that would have helped me. For example, so if we say what's 9 times 7, we could say, well, that's the same as 10 times 7 and then take away 7 once. And of course, you can show that with place value material with groups of 10 um, bundling sticks or unifix cubes, 10 frames, um, what have I left out, place value blocks. You can have 7 lots of 10, take 1 off each one, leaving the 9. And so you can clearly see that it's 70, take away 7. Looking at the sequence of multiples of 9, of course, we've got this lovely pattern here that if you add the digits together, it always adds up to 9. In fact, that's a feature of multiples of 9, um, all multiples of 9, that if you add the digits together, they will, the result will be a multiple of 9. But for the first um, 10 number facts, the result is 9 itself. We've also got a sequence, of course, in the number of 10s in those multiples going from 0 all the way down to 9 and the 1's go in reverse order from 9 to 0. The other thing you can do with the 9's which you uh, uh, may have seen before is a, a finger trick where if you imagine that your fingers and thumbs are numbered from left to right from 1 to 10 and then take the number that you're multiplying by 9 and put that one down. So if we say 9 times 8, there's finger number 8, put number 8 down there are seven fingers over here on the left and two fingers over there and that shows 72. So that's a really neat trick which uh, of course only works for nines but is useful for the nines. Six times we can do a couple of things here. We can either double the three times facts or we can build from the five times facts. So if we know the three times securely, of course we did that in the first half, we just double each one of those, we'll have the 6 times. For example, 6 times 7, what's 3 times 7? 21, double 21, 42. Or if we built from the 5 times, we would say 5 7s are 35, add another... That's not right. What am I saying? Add another 7. Of course, 5 7s are 35, add 7, 42. And uh, so that would get us the answer also. 8 times strategy is following on from the 2 times and the 4 times we just add another double process so we have double, double, double. Um, so for example let's say 8 times 6 start with 6, double that to 12, double 12 you have 24, double 24, 48. That's quite a number of steps for students to carry out mentally and of course we don't really want them doing this on paper or anything um, and there's the possibility that they'll make a mistake along the way but as I said before it's like a crutch that you know using crutches uh, if you have a broken leg eventually we expect our students to memorize the eight times and then not to need the strategy. Down to the two last ones, the two most difficult. Seven times there is no specific easy strategy for, for the sevens. So what we say is that you should build from known facts. 
So depending on what the number that you're multiplying by seven might be, you'll be able to build from other facts. Um, usually um, that might be going on from the six times and adding one more of whatever that is. And the last one is the 12 times. And the 12s, of course, are multiples of 10 plus 2. This is another example from my own childhood. I remember struggling with the 12 times because they're the biggest numbers and it, they seem to be the more difficult. No one ever said to me, well, of course, 12 is made of 10 and 2 and you can separate those two parts and multiply them separately and then combine them. I would have got that. So uh, let's say 12 times 7 is, of course, 10 times 7 plus 2 times 7. 70 plus 14 is 84. So there, those are the 10 strategies. Um, as I said before, these are followed in our ebook, 10, uh, 10 Minutes a Day Times Tables Worksheets, and you can link to that on our website. So I hope you'll uh, take advantage of that, and hopefully this has been helpful for you. Thank you for joining me on the Classroom Professor Math Podcast. You can email me via peter at classroomprofessor.com or follow me on Twitter with the username Peter underscore Price. You can also visit our website at www.classroomprofessor.com to download free resources including the ebook 10 Minutes a Day Times Tables Worksheets. If you have enjoyed this podcast, please go and rate the show on iTunes. I look forward to speaking with you next time. And until then, goodbye.